think of accounting. What about if it would be voluntary to uh, keep up the accounts and rep reports in the companies? You could do accounting if you wish, or then you wouldn't do it. And then again, you could pick and choose what kind of a accounting model you would have. And then, of course, about auditing. Either you could audit your accounts or then not. What would be the result? The result would be that you lose the comparability of the information. And why at that, you actually use the vast majority, if not all, of the comparability and the usefulness of the information for societal decision making like, uh, like taxation for example or the investor decision making when you compare different kind of a companies their profitability, their business plans and you judge their performance against each other in the same industry and cross industries and that is a useful information then when you think of ESG reporting. The standardization of a re uh, uh, financial reporting is created for various reasons. For investor needs, for investor protection, and for the societal fact because it was uh, considered to be so important part of our activities that you would need to have a trustworthy information. And exactly there's the same reason for ESG reporting to be harmonized, standardized and compulsory to everybody and then audited. Because we have 30 trillion worth of asset in stranded assets in fossil based uh, investments. We have a humongous challenge with the climate change where the newest information is telling that probably we'll pass the by 1.5 decrease already within five or ten years. We have the societal need, survival need, and we do have the investor need so that the investment firms do know the information of the investee companies, they can compare, they can choose, and they can bear their responsibility of uh, sustainability of their investments and the investments of our pension funds, for example. Well, that would mean that firstly we do need integrated reporting. Not separate sustainability reports and different kind of administrative burdens, but integrated reporting that is a part of accounting requirements. Then the standardized quantifiable measurement of environmental impacts based on these indicators. How much CO2 is emitted? What is the impact on biodiversity? How much raw material are used? And what is the energy and what kind of energy consumption? What is the impact on water, indirect land use? And so on. There it is quantifiable information where you can compare companies against each other and industries compared in the same field of uh, life uh, uh, with each other. And there you can see the transformation of the companies also. How they are disinvesting their activities from fossil based economies to more sustainable, circular, resource-efficient, renewable, energy-based and CO2-neutral uh, futures. And you can direct the blood circulation of the economy, the investments of the economy, so that you support environmentally and socially better investments instead of those, one, those ones, those laggards that actually are causing our societal costs. But you need to know what is true. And this is the role of auditing. And if you say something that audited, uh, those reports need to be audited so that you can trust 
and according to auditing rules. The responsibility needs to lie on boards of the companies that you measure right, that you report right, and that what you say is holding together with the truth. And actually I think that we can create pretty effective ESG reporting that is integrated reporting on accounting directives that is audited with the same principles. And actually the indicators are there already. We would need to do just a bit of a tweaking how you combine the different modelings together. And a, a bit more than a bit tweaking how you decide how you measure the life cycle of the product so that it is genuinely from the cradle to crave the whole lifespan of the product or an activity or a service and its environmental impact. Without this, we can't gear our politics right, our money right, and without that, I'm unfortunately convinced with only political commitments and talks, we can't uh, battle against the climate change or other adverse uh, effects like uh, resource uh, scarcity challenges what we are having. And then again, it's up to you guys to de develop this kind of a system. It's up to you to support it and it's up to you to work with us with the taxonomy and disclosure initiatives that these principles go ahead and it's up to all that the next commission takes this initiative seriously forward and technical standards are developed and put on place. Thank you very much and best success for your talks.